There is an emergency because as a planet, we have to be net zero by 2050. We have to develop and deploy CCUS at the gigaton scale. It's important, it's crucial for the future of our society. To achieve the net zero ambition, we can activate several levels. The first one is shifting, moving to renewable energies. It's what we are doing today. The second is playing on energy efficiency across all our operations. The third one is CCUS, because we need a global solution to capture CO2, to use it and to store it. It's where we have to play. We have to attack the biggest point sources of CO2. So this can be from the energy sector, but also can be from the process sector. In parallel, work on some negative emission technologies. So this could be the bioenergy sector and also direct air capture. L'adsorption, c'est un procédé dans lequel le CO2 va être adsorbé à la surface d'un solide poreux. Dans le procédé Svente, la mise en forme du matériau est innovante étant donné que la poudre d'adsorbant va être enduite sur une fibre de carbone. Ces fibres de carbone vont être empilées les unes sur les autres et fabriquer un lit. Ce lit est mis en place dans un disque rotatif qui va pivoter et réaliser un cycle complet d'adsorption et régénération en une minute. The CO2 storage is essential to climate mitigation. 90% of the CO2 has to be stored underground, stored permanently, safely, in a reliable way that can be also audited. Total Energies has a very strong background in understanding what is happening underground. So this past experience, but also with the various projects that we've had to date, we're using this heritage to develop as, as the next generation of uh, reservoir simulation tools specifically for CO2. This reservoir tool needs to be able to work on a very, very large scale, for a very, very long time scale, but also include various different types of physics and chemistry of CO2. So the GeoSix simulation tool that is being developed at the moment is ready to be used today, and we're applying GeoSix on different use cases. Il y a vraiment une boucle qui se fait entre la simulation et les données de monitoring. Total Energy aujourd'hui est partenaire sur le projet Northern Light en mer du Nord. Total Energy va également être opérateur sur le projet Aramis aux Pays-Bas. On monite des phénomènes physiques, donc c'est des changements de saturation et c'est des changements d'augmentation de pression. Par exemple, sur le projet Aramis, on est en train d'essayer de pousser des technologies de monitoring du futur basées sur les fibres optiques. In the future, what we'd like to do is to have a, a circular economy. We can take the CO2 and use it as it is, in greenhouses, as dry ice. We can take the CO2 and convert it biologically, in greenhouses. We can convert our CO2 into minerals. And finally, we have what we can call chemical conversion of our CO2. And this chemical conversion is very much in the DNA of Total Energy. chemicals and e-fuels are produced via CO2 capture and utilization using sustainable electricity like wind and solar. CO2 electroconversion to e-ethylene is a one-step process. The heart of the technology is the electrolyzer, in which CO2 and water are converted to platform molecules like ethylene, CO or syngas with the help of a catalyst. The principle of the Decomet project is to convert CO2 using green hydrogen into uh, green methanol. To do so, we will get renewable energy, which will be uh, sent to an electrolyzer. This green hydrogen will be sent to the methanol synthesis unit, where the CO2 will be converted into methanol. We have this DNA to, to innovate. We are an integrated company so we are able to handle the full chain of CCUS. We have the means, we have the skill set, a broad range of skills, we have the structure to carry out our R&D. We have the right partnerships, and we then have the opportunities to develop and to deploy our R&D in the, in the field. <music>